Descubre tu sueño, descubre un nuevo tú, descubre Lourdes University. Amigos, Marisol Ibarra para Voces Latinas TV Show y seguimos en este gran evento en Lord's University, Diversity and Inclusion, un tema súper importante para todos ustedes, para todas esas compañías que quieren salir adelante. Y aquí en mi derecha tengo, tengo a Scott Caperso. Hi, how are you? Good, good, thank you. How do you, what do you think about this speaker? This was fantastic, it's a wonderful event. Um, and Edward Jones is really excited to be a part of it and um, put this event on. Um, we are constantly on the lookout for top talent, no matter where it, it resides. And our commitment to diversity and inclusion is growing year after year. So anytime we can get exposed to uh, different types of perspectives and people from different cultures, we want to uh, talk to those individuals. We want to bring in the very best talent for our organization. I can see that. This was. Edwards Jones sponsored it, so I can see your commitment. I can see your commitment to diversity and inclusion. I loved what the speaker said. Um, diversity is not just the right thing to do, but the smart thing to do. What do you think about that? Well, I, I think it makes uh, good business sense as the changing landscape of the United States and our population shifts to uh, having more people from a multicultural background or even a, a, a gender perspective, um, we need to match our markets. We need to be where the people who need services are and, and people want to uh, see representation um, in their organizations that they do business with. And, you know, it, it's moving at this point well beyond business sense to just good common sense. That's great. Well, that's great. Well, we wish you the very best, Thank Edward so Jones. We'll see you. you. Thank Bye. you. Bueno, amigos, ahí lo tienen. Tenemos mucha gente que está impresionada de este uh, speaker, John Bacon, que compartió, compartió muchísimo. Así es que no se lo pierdan, por favor, quédense ahí porque estaré compartiendo y hablando con él, John Bacon. Bueno amigos, Marisol Ibarra para Voces Latinas. Seguimos aquí en este gran evento en donde se compartieron palabras súper poderosas sobre, sobre la diversidad e inclusión. Y tengo aquí a mi derecha a John Bacon, the main speaker. Hi, John. Hola, me llamo en tu lengua es uh, Juan Tocino. Hey. <laughs> Juan Tocino, que a todos nos gusta el Tocino. John, you shared a lot of powerful messages. Um, I'm a history buff myself. I love how you shared, the, how you ended my question with, we will win. That's awesome, very positive. John, um, Talk to us about how you see when companies are open to diversity, they become a strong, powerful company. And that's my point, is that clearly it's the right thing to do to be diverse and inclusive, but it's also the smart thing to do. Now, you don't sacrifice to do so. You become a better, better organization, a better team, a better university by being more diverse, and the numbers show this. This is not just pie in the sky. Uh, the stats back that up. Well, that's awesome. Como la diversidad hace a una compañía, no solamente es lo... Lo, la, lo poderosa, lo correcto de hacer, sino también la mantiene en un nivel poderoso y tiene resultados. John, um, a little bit, I know you shared a lot of history. There's a lot, you shared about how Obama had people he could thank, Martin Luther King had people he could thank. Uh, we're all on the shoulders of somebody else. And we get here because people in the past, we take it for granted. We think it's inevitable that Martin Luther King did this or Jackie Robinson did this. These were scary, courageous times, and it took that to move forward. Let's not forget that. So let's not take for granted what they did, and let's take advantage of what the opportunities we have now. And also, let's remember to move it forward for the next generation, which also still requires actual courage. Yeah, that's awesome. Even though there's a two-step back, or two-step forward is one step back, you said. But at the end, we're here to do the right thing. I gave you the quote from my hero, Martin Luther King, the long arc of history bends towards justice. So. Two steps forward, one steps back. We are going in the right direction overall. So let's not get discouraged. Let's keep going. Wow, thank you for the work you do. Honestly, if it wasn't for people like you, like you said, even though you are the whitest guy, <laughs> you, have, you have a Latino heart, we say, uh, when people have the heart to do the right thing. And thank you for all that you do, John. Muchas gracias para tu ayuda. Actually, tell us about a little, you have several books. You're yeah. an author. I am. Uh, I've got nine books out total, and the last six are all New York Times bestsellers. All these are yours? Uh, some on leadership, some on college football, 
some on history and some on race and mental health. You are one smart cookie. I know I'm a busy dude. That's <laughs> You're a I'm busy about. dude, huh? Well, congratulations. I know you recently got married, or three years ago? Uh, four and a half years ago, yes. How about that one? I got a kid two and a half years ago, so it's never too late, apparently. Adorable. <laughs> How old is your kid? Uh, two and a half. No, I'm and sorry. What is, como se llama? Uh, Teo in Espanol, uh, Teddy in, in, in English. Teddy? Is that his name or Theodore? Uh, Theodore's the full name. Theodore, that's a beautiful name, Theodore Ro Roosevelt. Uh, that's why we named him, as a matter of fact. How about that? <laughs> now that's awesome. Well, thank you so much, John. I'm sure yes. we'll see you around sometime. Bueno, amigos, eh, seguimos entrevistando a personas claves en este evento, así es que no se lo pierdan aquí en Voces Latinas, tu show.